Hello, welcome to Nerd Talk. It's been a while since we made a video because he's lazy. He don't he don't, he don't ever want to do it. He don't like editing. It's true. Anyways, calm down, fellas. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a video over. Let's see, Saturday, July thirty first. We went to the Louisville, Kentucky, and GI Joe Toy Expo at the Hilton Gardens Hotel. We've been going there what last four years, five years. Mm -hmm. They always have great stuff there really good deals so we're just gonna do a video on everything we hauled back with us from there so let's start off with the loose figures here we have dice part of the ninja force it's actually a pretty cool figure for ninja force it's, it's yeah, one of the better it's one of the better ones him and slice and dice are one of the better too he's complete too so I mean. plus keep in mind some of the things we'll be showing you today are probably like later year kind of cheesy to some people, but cheap stuff. It's kind of the stuff we need now. <laughs> that's about all we need to finish our collection. So that's what we bought, went for. Ninja Force Scarlet. More Ninja Force. I actually don't mind that figure too. It's, it's got, not. It's, it's not got a real ponytail. It's <laughs> ponytail. Original figure don't even have that. <laughs> Whatever version of Bat this is. <laughs> 89. What is this, version 2? Yeah. With the sticker. Missile launcher. I actually like that bad. I mean, I don't like it as good as... It's not better than the original, don't get me wrong, but I don't mind that bad. I don't like the neon colors. Well, <laughs> anything that year is going to be neon. It's just going to have to deal with it, so... The DEF Mutton Junkyard. Another terrible figure. I don't think it's that bad. It's horrible. Look at him. He looks like he's on drugs. Plus, he was complete. He's even got his little net launcher with the net. Look. Capture the dog, man. Oh. Uh, Get out of here. That's, that's terrible. That's not that bad. Besides that, we needed him. Finally, a decent figure. <laughs> General Hawk. You gonna crap on all of them and you gonna talk about the astronaut General Hawk? This General Hawk's pretty cool. The colors are cool. It looks cool. He's got a jetpack with missiles. What's wrong with that? What do you mean? I, I don't mind the figure. It's fantastic. I don't mind them either, though. They're not as great as... Yeah, you know, 88 and below, but... Well, nothing is. Rampart. Now that, I was looking for him. I actually like that figure. I like that figure a lot. Coming from that crappy Deke cartoon. A Deke... Well, until you lose all of his pieces anyway. A Deke cartoon had a lot of cool figures. It, it actually did. Say what you want about that cartoon, but it had cool characters and vehicles. Hey, the cartoon was crap. Well, that's what I said, but... But, yes, it had a lot of good... It, it made for some good toys. Yes, it did. Enough of... Enough G.I. Joe Lucy's. <laughs> <laughs> Got a Masters of the Universe. Stone Dar. Is that Stone Dar or is that Rock On? It's Stone Dar. Right. And it's nice, too, because he was cheap because he didn't have the weapon. But yeah, already, we actually had it already, laying around. I already had the weapon, so that worked out nice. can't believe you're all stoked over a rock lord. What's wrong with rock lords? <laughs> uh, oh, you got, you got out of Lucy's? Yeah, I ran out of Lucy's. Here's one I picked up from the table. It's like the first thing I walked to. A guy at the table, I mean, I'm not a big Eco Warriors fan by any stretch of the imagination, but we didn't have any of it. And when I asked the guy at the table what he wanted for this, like I said, they... Pretty good prices there, you know, most time. He, 15 bucks, I think, is what I paid for it. It's worth like 50 or 60 is what it says in the book. It is complete. It's not broken. Still has the gun, the hose. Antennas are bent, but they're not broken. So it's not a great vehicle, but it was a good deal for the price. 
Yeah. Picked up Masters of the Universe book. I didn't have. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't collect just toys. We'll buy anything it has to do with them from vintage. Looks very nice, except for someone like purple. Well, that's, that's, that's got a lot of purple coloring. That's what the kids did. They colored them. It's fun. The kids are savages. Savages. <laughs> oh. Pick this up. Five bucks. That's not. We already had a few of these. These are actually. Well. What? Pretty cool to me, anyway. I'm sure you don't recall. I can remember renting these when I was a kid. Well, I got a VHS player. Well, I know that, but. Transformers VHS tape in the box? I mean, why wouldn't you buy that? <laughs> Some people wouldn't. Some G.I. Joe Presto Magics. <laughs> color forms, basically. It's like a knockoff color form. It is. This is complete, though. Thank God. So you yeah, got the paperwork in it. A little paperwork for it. Either. Can't go wrong with color forms. You can't. Color forms are amazing. I know. Okay, let's see what else we got down here. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get this out. I seen this. I had to get this. Anytime I see these, I buy these. G.I. Joe TV tray. Hmm. I don't know why these things, I, I like these things. I think they're great. It took me forever to find a Transformer one. I know there's actually, this isn't the only G.I. Joe one because I've seen other ones, but I think I gave like five, ten bucks for this. So yeah. now we just need a Star Wars TV tray because we got a G.I. Joe Transformers and a Master of the Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just broke it on video. Clung. <laughs> what you want? Uh, first off, before we show anything else, a little shout out to these these people were at the toy show, Match Squatch Customs. They gave you these little guns here for the door. They make custom weapons and accessories. But the weapons are. This one's cool. This one's Star Trek. The weapons are actually quite nice looking. <laughs> you can find them on Facebook. It does look like a phaser, doesn't it? And these are just about the right size for your classified figures. A little bigger. But they're... 12 inch. Actually pretty nice whip. Pretty nice job. Put a lot of detail into them. I don't think I ever actually got to go to their booth. I was too busy running around losing my mind buying toys, but. Mm. Okay, let's see, what else? Here you go. Oh! And how excited you were over that. G.I. Joe Vehicle Gear Accessory Pack number one. It's not number one. What does it say? Well, for, I guess for the vehicles. <laughs> it was the only one for the vehicles, I think. Now this, this thing's in great condition, and it was free. Yeah, they we, didn't have, God just gave it to us. We already had one of these, but... Card wasn't as nice looking. This one looks way better, and it was free. I'll take 5,000 more of these if they're free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Okay, let's see here. Some more of my terrible buys. It. Here we have the Star Brigade Invader, and the Pogo Ball. <laughs> Pogo Ball. But we did not have this, and this was in the box. In the box, complete. I think I gave fifteen bucks for it. I'm pretty sure it's worth that loose without the box. Still got five points even. <laughs> Anything I can get in the box, 15, 20 bucks, I'm jumping on it every day, all day. The Star Brigade boxes are actually nice. Yeah, they are, actually. And Might as well show off the other Star Brigade. <laughs> Here we have another one, Star Brigade Starfighter. It's basically the Stellar Stiletto. 
But with a missile launcher. Yeah, but with a missile launcher. <laughs> this one I think I gave about the same for it, twenty bucks. It does not have the figure in it. Mm. Does not have the sci fi, but the vehicle is complete with the box and the blueprints. Does still have the file card on the back of it for the figure, which And the flight points. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure uh Star Brigade sci fi probably not gonna be that hard to come by somewhere, so you'd be surprised. <laughs> G.I. Joe Scorpion. This is, what, 93? It's one of the last vehicles. And the last year, Battle Corps. Yeah. yeah. Still got the flag points. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in there. Not going to take any out because that's a... It's not even put together, so... Okay, here we go. This, the G.I. Joe Battle Corps Razor Blade. Mm. I think you got about 25 bucks for this. That thing was a pain. Complete. <laughs> we did take this out and play with this, and yes, it was a pain. The string was, it still had the original string. That thing was tangled to hell and back. It took us, what, three, two, 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 two <laughs> to get it untangled. It was a pain. Wasn't really worth it either. It wasn't that fun. It, it was all right, but... It was a little fun. It was a little fun. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Flight points. But yes, every box we got was uncut. Wasn't tore up. You gotta mention the flag points. Now for the big boy. Shark 9000. This was actually on my list of things I was looking for. I like this vehicle. I don't like a lot of the later vehicles, but this one... I actually do like without cutter. Yeah, it does not have the figure, but again, it was a good, really good flight points. It was a really good price on that one too, and it does still have the file card on it. So, so now we just need cutter. The vehicle was complete with the blueprints. Is that it? Yeah, no. Well, of course not. <laughs> oh, there you go. You do that. Mint on card. Counter Star Wars figure. That's that's the greatest thing ever. It's been better for it wasn't an ATST driver, but I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Ain't that just the most beautiful thing? <laughs> it's so pretty. It's in pretty decent shape. Oh I know. For as old as it is. Oh, here we go. I'm... I picked up a couple of these. I actually like these. We have the uh, Spearhead and Max and Mainframe, the uh, Fun School India versions on card. Cards are a little bent. They're a little wobbly, a little, but they are unopened. I'll, I'll buy anything on the card. Plus fun, the fun school ones. I, they might be pretty common. I don't know. They're not that easy to come by around here where we live at, though. So, Plus, I really like the Spearhead Max because it's a different color variation than the original. I hope I'm correct. Yeah, made in India. I didn't want to say the wrong place. Sound like a dumbass. Flint's name is Kapamal. Yeah. <laughs> this one has normal names on the back of it. Hmm, that's weird. It's doing all vintage Star Wars. Huh? Well, no. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, that was it. That was the end of our haul from there. Well, I take that. We, we actually got a Siege, Transformer Siege Quintus on too, but it's way up on top of the shelf now already, and we really didn't want to climb up there to get it down, so we just left him out of the video. Anyways, if you ever get a chance, Kentuckyana G.I. Joe Toy Expo, Louisville, Kentucky. They have it, actually they have it twice a year now. 
They had one in July for and during the summer, and then they had one around January called the Winter Fest. Excellent show. Great vendors, good deals, good prices. Get a chance, I'd go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was the buy of the toy show. That that this made the toy show. Right there. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. You paid retail almost for that. Star Wars on a car. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This hangs in my room. Not in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. That's the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.